Good day my little robins, it's me Beth, another week has passed which means you get another video from well, me on this glorious channel and if you haven't already read the title, today I am reviewing Ice Nine Kills new album The Silver Scream which was released on October 5th. I love Ice Nine Kills, let's just get into the video. Before we begin, if you want to support me and the channel you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can click subscribe because well nothing's stopping you and I do try and upload on a weekly basis. You can tap that bell to be notified of when I upload on this magnificent channel. Let's just dive right into Ice Nine Kills The Silver Scream. Now you could say I am a massive Ice Nine Kills fan here on this channel because I have reacted to four of the videos I have reacted to, Enjoy Your Slay, Thank God It's Friday, The American Nightmare and A Grave Mistake. I've given them rave reviews and finally being able to sit down and like, you know, listen to the full album. I'm not gonna lie, Ice Nine Kills gave me a bit of an eargasm. I was there like, oh my God, what is this? What is this beauty that I am listening to? And if I'm being honest, The Silver Scream might just have every trick in the book beat for my new favourite Ice Nine Kills album, which I never thought would happen because I am a massive every trick in the book fan. Ice Nine Kills have blown it out of the water with The Silver Scream. This album cycle saw the band, you know, take on and be inspired by, you know, classic horror films, you know, from Chainsaw Massacre to Saw to Jaws, to Friday the 13th, you know, just to name a few. And I am a massive, you know, movie nerd. I do have a film degree and I have watched, you know, all of these horror films or, you know, films, cult films in general, you know, at least twice in my life. So I know like all the little subtle references and, you know, little Easter eggs and all the characters very well. And just like with every trick in the book, which was inspired by, you know, classic, you know, works of you know lit literature and it, you know it sprinkled familiar story elements you know into the lyrics weaving them effortlessly the silver scream does that you know and i found myself going slightly insane as i was picking up you know all the little subtle references you know to characters or you know to plot points in the films damn ice nine kills like what are you doing to me like okay I need to like, you know, calm down because all you're getting from this video so far is that I really like this album, but lyrically, Ice Nine Kills, they know how to weave everything together to make, you know, a story, you know, that enthralls you and it adds a replay value because each time I listen to the album or I listen to a particular song, I unearth, you know, something new and it just makes my little horror fangirl heart flutter. Now some people have argued that the album comes off as slightly gimmicky and to a degree it does. You know, if you were to sit down and, you know, watch all these films, the original versions, you know, as a modern audience, we sit back and we laugh at, you know, the fake gore or the cliches. We can't take them seriously. But when these films were first released, you know, they both terrified and, you know, shocked audiences. There is something that, you know, as humans, as people, we like about sitting alone in a dark room being scared. Why the hell do you think there are so many sequels and, you know, remakes of most of the films that, you know, Ice Nine Kills were inspired by? I believe that when, you know, the guys were writing this album and coming up, you know, with the track order, that they were like, you know, we've got to delve into that part of the human psyche that loves being scared. We all have to sit back and admit that at one point or another we have got some sort of thrill, you know, watching something scary or watching something horrific. But going back to the point about people saying it's gimmicky, I've not mentioned it much when I reacted, you know, to the four videos. But to a degree I thought the acting was kind of bad in the earlier ones but it got better. And after thinking about the fact that I'm like, oh, as a modern audience we laugh. I kind of think that that's kind of maybe subtly what they were going for. It was like, because some of the acting in those films was goddamn awful. Ice Nine Kills. Yes. If you asked me to name my top three songs on this album, it would be very hard. But if I had to sit down after listening to this album, which I have multiple times, and pick my three favourites, they would be A Grave Mistake, because who doesn't love a good slow melodic ballad? 
Love Bites because An American Werewolf in London is a very underrated film and thirdly it would be Merry Axmas which is by far the heaviest song you know on this album and contradicts like the melodic ballad of A Grave Mistake. Also Merry Axmas oddly is getting me hyped for Christmas and it's only October so I don't know if I should be, you know, slightly worried about my psyche that I'm like, yes, after listening to this song about people getting killed at Christmas, I just can't wait to pull a cracker and open my presents on Christmas Day. That probably says something more about me than it does about Ice Nine Kills and this album as a whole. For me, also, if I had to, like, say, like, if I didn't like a song, I'm gonna be honest and say I, there wasn't a particular song that I was like I hate it, I'm gonna skip it, which is very rare because I'm always saying in these videos that you know you don't have to like every single song on an album, you can have your favourites and then you know you skip the songs you know that you're not a big fan of, but I have not skipped a single song. I know you're thinking Beth stop bumming off this band but they are they're, they're great at what they do and for me, Ice Nine Kills, every album they release, I never find myself skipping a song. I had to give The Silver Scream by Ice Nine Kills a rating out of 10. Wait for it, it is getting a solid 10 out of 10 because in my eyes this album is flawless and no doubt in my mind it might just be my all-time favourite album of 2018. And there have been a few good albums and there are a couple more albums I am looking forward to, you know, like um, towards the end of October, November releases. So for me to sit here and go, you know, this album's great, it's my favourite album, nothing's gonna top it, that is very strange for me to say because normally at this time of the year I'm very, you know, open-minded to future releases, but Ice Nine Kills are firmly sitting on top. In the description box I'm going to link, well, I'm not gonna link, I'm going to rate all the individual songs, you know, individually, because if I was to talk about, you know, a rating for each song on this album, this video would go on for hours because, oh, trust me, I could talk about a few of these songs and you guys will get very bored. So if you want to check out, you know, my individual ratings for songs on this album, then the description box is where to go. In the comments, I would love to hear you know, your guys' thoughts and opinions on, you know, all the songs, the band, the album. Do you like it? Do you not like it? What is your favourite Ice Nine Kills song? The comments is the place to go. If you want to see me, you know, react or review something in the future, the comments is also the place to go because I do love listening to you guys. In the description box, you can check out all the links to Ice Nine Kills social media along with my own social media because who doesn't love a good self plug on their own YouTube channel? In the description, you can also check out that cheeky link to my second YouTube channel, youtube.com slash pillypoints, if you like all things video games related. Enough rambling, that's the end of the video. If you want to support me and the channel, you can by clicking like to show me some love. You can click my face right here to subscribe to the channel because nothing's well stopping you. You can check out my last videos or playlist right here, depending on what mood I'm in when I'm editing this video. But like my sign says, keep listening to good music. I'm Beth, goodbye.